What's going on, YouTube? We back with another video, man. And today, what we about to do, we about to uh, work on the Yukon. Um, you already know how I like to start out the video. I want to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel, man. We finally monetized. We getting it. We about to finally start moving and grooving and going in on these cars, man. We gonna keep growing. We're gonna keep doing our thing, man. That's the only thing we can do on the way is up. So you already know. Um, with this video, man, make sure you go tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to hit that subscribe button, man. Drop your boy a comment, hit that like button, and go ahead and share that video. But what we're about to get into today, we're about to get on this Yukon. Uh, I'm about to put the uh Cadillac console in. I've been working on it, had to fix it, put some fiberglass on these little crack part. Um, had to beef this up right here on both sides, beefed it up so it can hold the uh, the cup holder in the back real good. And then uh, what we about to do is, so we're gonna remove the old console and we're gonna remove these seats. So this is the driver's seat. And as you can see, I got uh, power and heated seats on the driver's side. as well as power and heated seats on the passenger side. So we're gonna remove these seats in the center console and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna wire the seats up correctly. Um, I already got some wires made, but I might not use them. Um, I got some wires made from when I had my, my pickup truck and I bought power seats. Um, power heated seats for the pickup truck. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep these, man, if I'm gonna sell them. I ain't 100% sure yet, but uh, both driver and passenger seat is powered and heated, um, and they work. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or sell it, man. But um, center console finna go in, and I'm gonna repaint that later, or I'm gonna wrap it. And then I'm finna wire these seats up. So, um, center console pretty easy. Center console pretty easy to take out. I'm pretty sure you know how to take it out. But I'm gonna show you real quick. Two 10 millimeters. And then you just slide it forward. So two 10 millimeters and you slide it forward. So I'm gonna get this out of here. And then the seats, the seats are four 15 millimeters and get them right on out. So I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna cut you back on shortly. All right, YouTube. So I am back, and as you can tell, I got the seats pulled out. Now, let me show you what I did. This is the plug for the passenger seat of the power and heated seats, right? Um, so, for this, on the original plug, which I think I, I don't have the original plug, but on the original plug, on the passenger side, it only have two wires. It only have this small orange, this small orange right here, and this black wire, right? So you hook them up to the original plug, and then these two wires right here, this large orange wire and this brown wire, what I did was I ran it across to the driver's side, I ran it across to the driver's side. On the driver's side, it has three wires. These two, these two orange, small and large, and then the black wire. But it doesn't have this brown wire. So I ran it across and I tapped in 
a fuse into the orange, large orange wire. So I tapped the large orange wire from the passenger side into the large orange wire on the driver's side. And then for the brown wire, I ran both passenger and driver's side brown wire to this plug, this plug right here. So both of them are running into this. And then I'm gonna run it into the fuse box on the, uh, on the ignition. So I'm gonna put it, um, I'm gonna put it on the ignition fuse, a 12 volt ignition fuse. So it only come on when the ignition, um, only come on when the ignition come on. I haven't seen anybody do a wiring video on the seats, but that's what I did. So the passenger side got two wires, small, a uh, black ground and orange power, small power, small orange power. And I ran the large orange over to the driver's side because the driver's side got three wires originally a small orange a large orange and a ground so i tapped into this from the passenger side orange into the driver's side orange ran the both brown wire from the passenger side to the driver's side tapped them together and you're gonna put that on the 12 volt right for the center console i wanted my lighter to work in the back so when my daughter ran with me, she would uh when my daughter ran with me, she would have her own plug and won't have to stretch from the front to the back, even though the front got three. She'll have her own plug and we won't have to worry about it. Plain and simple. Uh I went from I went from the center one, the main one, the center one, uh power to orange, ground to ground. So orange is power, ground is negative a black is negative and i just tapped into them i already tested it it made sure it worked so um that's good so i'm about to slap this back up there um and then next time i cut you on we're gonna be we're gonna be testing the seats out so um that's how you wire it uh i'm gonna give another breakdown bef before i put the seats in i'm gonna give another breakdown uh, I'm not going to be able to test the heated seats because I'm going to have to replace the heated mats. So if you can tell me, because I know they don't make those heated mats anymore. If you can tell me or find me some heated mats that I can replace those with for the OBS guys, drop it down in the comment below, please. Um, please drop it down in the comments below because I am going to need those heated mats. Uh, even though it really don't get cold here in Texas, uh i wanted the full package seat so that's what i went and got so i'm gonna definitely re-put the heated mats in there so if you could tell me uh some heated mats that'll work for the obs seats uh let me know because i know they do not remake the factory heated mats so i'll cut you back on shortly all right guys so we got the seats back installed and uh Got them working. Let's see. Let's drive aside. Let's see they moving like they supposed to. And that's the driver's side, so we're gonna go to the passenger side. Same thing. Got them working. Uh, so, uh, like I said, I got some spare seats that I had for when I was gonna install them into the pickup truck. 
So I got some harness, uh, the actual harness there. So this five prong harness, that's your passenger side. The four prong is your driver side. So the original harness on the truck for the passenger side only had two wires versus four. The ground wire and the small orange wire right here. So you hook this up to the factory plug. Then you have to run the large ground uh the large orange wire and the brown wire on the um uh, on the factory driver side harness it's a three prong four plug harness but it only has three prongs in it right and it has the small orange the fat orange and then the ground so what you have to do is the small orange and the ground you can take wire and run it over to the small orange and the ground on the driver harness so from the passenger to the driver harness you run the small orange in the ground and then you will have to uh do the same for the passenger fat orange wire run it to the fat orange wire on the driver's side right uh, and that's going to get you your power for the seats the actual power now the heated seats come into effect with these brown wires so these brown wires is what turn your heated seats on. So I ran a wire, ran these two brown wires together, and you're gonna tap them into a fuse that only comes on with the ignition. So uh, that's what I did. And this yellow wire, I think this yellow wire only allows the heated seats to work when the airbag, I mean, when the uh, seat belt is plugged in or something, I can't remember, but you don't run this one. I didn't run this one. So you don't run this one from the um, reviews that I did, you don't run this one. So you run all the wires, orange, black, together, and then you tap these two, the two brown wires together and run it to an ignition fuse. Um, and see here's my here's my fuse uh, tap here's my fuse tap for the brown wire I just haven't plugged it in yet but that's my fuse tap for the brown wire um, and the reason I haven't plugged it in yet is because I don't think the heated seats work so I gotta find some uh, when I get ready to redo the seats when I get ready to redo the seats, I gotta find some heating pads that is uh, interchangeable with that body style because they no longer make the factory heating pads for this vehicle. So um, I have to find some heating, heating pads that's gonna work um, with the vehicle. So that's how you wire up driver and passenger side power heated seats in an OBS man. Thank you for checking out the video. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. Comment, subscribe, and share the video, man. Hit that subscribe button. Drop me a comment and hit that like button. And share the video, man. It's only up from here. And we out. Peace.